गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टू डेज टॉपिक आई आर आर डेट मीन इंफ्रा रेड रेडिएशन थेरेपी ऑब्जेक्टिव इंट्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग पेंट्रेशन फिजियोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट थेरापेटिक इफेक्ट डेंजर यूजिंग आई आर आर कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन एंड इंडिकेशन so first introduction what is irr that means uh, infrared rays are electromagnetic waves and its wavelength is 750 to 4 lakh nanometer infrared rays rays are used as a superficial heating modality principle of heat transfer radiation production sun sun as the natural source and in physiotherapy department infrared are produced by two types of generator first non luminous generator second luminous generator what is non luminous generator and luminous generators so first non luminous generator what is that non luminous generator that is non emitting light non luminous generator consists of coil a wire one or insulting materials such as fire clay or poor clay wavelength from 750 to 15000 nanometer in this generator electric current passed in a wire production of the heat in fire clay emission of the rays non luminous generator non luminous generated the radiation includes some visible rays to absorb these visible rays the coil is embedded in fire clay painted black construction of lamp should be a such that the reflector and other parts do not become excessive hot reflector is a mounting on a stain and its position can be adjusted as required wire may surrounding the reflector to prevent contact with it this type of lamp requires some time to get heated up the lamp should be sweated on before 5 to 10 minutes of treatment second luminous generator what is luminous generator so the luminous that is emitting light this lamp emits infrared visible and few ultraviolet rays this generator consists of wire filament enclosed glass bulb which contain in insert gases low pressure luminous generator is wavelength 350 to 4000 nanometer and it penetrates epidermis dermis and subcutaneous tissue used in chronic inflammation luminous generator mainly used in chronic inflammation factor affecting penetration of irr wavelength intensity of infrared source vascularity of tissue type of skin cousin's law inverse square law and the schedule principle gauss dropper law physiological effect and therapeutic effect what is the physiological effect increase superficial temperature metabolism increase vasodilation increase blood circulation and therapeutic effect what is the therapeutic effect mainly relief of pain muscle relaxation increase the blood supply danger of infrared radiation what is the danger in danger of infrared radiation first burn second electric shock third headache injuries to eye first burn excessive heating of a superficial tissue causes burn It is an abnormal if sensation is not proper. Patient falls to report overheating. Unconscious of patient. Patient moves closer to the lamp. Patient falls as a sleep during the treatment. So should be patient do not as a sleep during a treatment. Second electric shock. Why? 
by some expose a part of circuit. Headache. Air radiation of a back a head may cause a headache. Headache may also cause when the treatment is given during hot weather. Injury to eye. Direct heating over the eye causes a drying up and thus lead to the coronial and retinals of the bird. Contraindication and indication. Contraindication are the infrared radiation should not be applied to the areas where there the danger of hemorrhage, defective skin sensation directly over the eyes, known causes of the tumor. And what is the indication? That's pain and muscle spasm, edema, healing of wounds, joint stiffness, and the chronic tissue. Thank you so much.